This is our carve exercise. Carve is more of a way of moving than an exact position. Um, carves are very fluid and take as much space as you can. Um, before you learn carves, you need to know five basic flag positions. This is right shoulder, both thumbs up. Front present, your right arm is extended until it's straight. Your left arm is in the same position it was for right shoulder. This is front present. Rear present, your left arm is extended. Your right arm is bent so that it's over your head. Very important to make sure this one is over your head and doesn't end up over here by your ear. You also need to know right slam. Nice hip shoulder angle. Your left hand comes off of your left shoulder. Your right hand comes off of your right hip. This is right slam. Left slam, and we're going to do this one with weird arms. The right hand goes to the other hip. The left hand goes to the other shoulder. See how weird my arms are? I always try to get my forearms parallel. I can't always do that. So we take these and put them into an exercise and put very fluid motion between them. Um, we're going to do this very slowly, and then as we repeat it, we are going to put the counts closer and closer together so the effect is we'll be moving faster. So we start at right shoulder. For count one, we snap out to front present. We slowly come around to our left and end in rear present on count five. Then we slowly move to right slam and end there on count one. We continue moving the silk across the front and end in left slam on count five. To set us up to keep going, we're going to go back to right slam on seven, come up to right shoulder on eight. That's our basic four count carve exercise. We take that and speed it up and do the same basic motion on three different timings. That was the fours. We also do it on twos where we go front present on one, two, three is a rear present, four, five is a right slam, six, seven is a left slam, eight comes back to right slam. When you do it this fast and faster, you take the right shoulder out and go immediately back to one. That was carves on twos, two counts apart. We also do them on ones, Count one, count two, count three, count four. I did that wrong, I'm sorry. Count one, count two. Here you have to really push to get to left slam on three, back across on four. This one takes a lot more muscle. Uh, things to be very careful about in carves, make sure your left hand moves as much as your right hand. If you're not careful, you'll end up with these half scoops and your left hand's not working as hard. You want to take up as much space as possible. And the place to really be careful of that is on the bottom. You really have to stretch and reach to get those cards. Let's do the carve exercise. That is one set of fours, two sets of twos, four sets of ones, which actually is only two eights. Here we go. Carve exercise. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the carb exercise. Okay, we're going to do drop spins, one of our most basic fundamentals. You want to start at right shoulder, nice strong stance, get it out away from your body just a little bit. Take your left hand off and turn it thumbs down. You want it in front of your belly button or basically as low as you can get it without hitting the ground. That is your spin spot. So when you take that hand off, your right hand is going to rotate the flag counterclockwise into your left hand. That's count one. Both of your thumbs are down at this point right hand comes off, the flag continues rotating counterclockwise until it's straight up and down, and your right hand grabs under your left hand. Both thumbs are up at this point. 
you basically just repeat that over and over. So it is turn it over, down, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up. So when you do this quickly, you count. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or basically, thumbs down, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up. Very important to make sure the flag is straight up and down, either straight here or straight here. Let's do four eighths of drop spins. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to make sure when you do these that your arms are straight. I would start off by putting my hands at the tab and blocking my elbows then setting my flag on the ground. See how straight my arms are? You want to do that and be just slightly above that. But you don't want these bent arms because then you have these chicken wing things. So straighten your arms out and then lower it as much as you can without hitting the ground. Make sure when you're doing these that you practice counting with them. It's really easy to rush and get ahead. Those are drop spins. Mommy, Mommy, want to see your secret hat out? Yes. This fundamental is big circle, little circle. You start at right shoulder, take your left hand off and put it thumb down in front of your belly button at your spin spot. For count one, the flag rotates counterclockwise into your left hand. This is just like a drop spin. Okay, so from right shoulder, you go counterclockwise to one. Take your right hand off. The flag continues to rotate counterclockwise Count two is a money hand. It looks like an L. It goes right there between your index finger and your thumb. That's count two. Count three, your left hand comes off. The flag continues moving counterclockwise and is down on count three. Silk down, thumb is up. Continue moving counterclockwise for count four. It's very important that you straighten this arm out completely. But if you open your hand as you go up, the flag just rolls over your hand should not have air between your hand and the flag. It's not a little toss. Count one is like a drop spin. Count two is money. Count three is down. Count four is the flip. So when you put that together, let's do one eight slowly. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, Put that in terms of what we just did, that is drop, money, down, flip. Drop, money, down, flip. Let's do two eights. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are bolos, big circle, little circle. Um, one real important thing to check is to make sure this arm goes straight at the end. Yay! Oh, I mean, yay! Oh. You start with a flag at right shoulder. You're going to take your left hand off and put it on your leg. The flag is going to always move counterclockwise. So it comes straight down on one moving and goes straight up on two. Very important to have a straight arm, have it very high. Bend at the elbow, goes behind your head on three. Continue rotating, use your wrist, straight up on four. And then you just repeat, go down on a one. Bottom stopper is behind your back, up on two, behind your head, up on four. Um, shine your shoes, brush your hair. So let's do four eighths of these. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shoes, two, hair, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Watch this straight arm. Two, very important. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Count by count. Ready? Here's count. One, two is up behind. Three is down in front. Four is up in front. Five is down but under your arm. Six is up to the side. Seven goes over your right shoulder. Eight goes back to ten. So let's try that slowly on counts. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try that slowly. But